Hey everyone, this is Spooky Banana, and today is a special day. We're playing Resident Evil Village, and I'm super excited. It looks unreal, so I just want to jump into it. Let's start. Yeah, let's watch the recap. Come on, let's do it. Okay. Where to start? My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. She wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. It's all over now. Woo, I'm excited. Okay, let's start a new game. Um, standard, yeah, standard, I think. Yeah, let's go. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a click of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beasts. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. 
there. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. Oh. I'll finish dinner. Hmm. Yes, I see. A nice, cute fairy tale for the little baby. Not creepy at all. It's, okay, it's like, Rose. um, reminds me of, uh, of Tim Burton kind of I can't blame her. animation thing. Pretty cool. Did you say something? Nothing. I'll put her down. Okay, so we need to take the baby to bed. We just need to find her room, I guess. I don't know. So we're just like having some babysitter gameplay, I see. Uh, moving babies around and looking for their rooms. I don't know. Let's see. Let's check out the house. Maybe we'll see something interesting. We're just checking stuff out. Okay. That's a remote. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't know. I don't trust Mia. She's kind of freaky. Hey, oh, shit. She scared down. me. Just making sure it's, it's locked. Like, it's too perfect. Once things Something up, bad is going to happen, you know. So where the hell is the kids room here? Okay, let's go upstairs maybe. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. No, that's not the baby room. That's the bathroom, yeah. yeah. Let's find a room and then explore for a bit, I think. Okay, let's go. Almost there, honey. Yep, that's definitely the baby room. <laughs> Can hardly miss. Let's place the baby there. And... There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Perfect. Mission accomplished. Oh, now we can walk faster. That's a relief. <laughs> okay, close for tomorrow. Uh, I don't see anything here. Let's see what else we can find. Mia and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago and she blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in that hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows it too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Rosemary Winters. Screening, hearing, vision, touch, reflex test. All results show no issues. Patient is in good health. Other notes, results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA, Applefell Memorial Hospital. Oh, that's, that's not good. That's not good. Rose is fine. So we're testing if our baby has the um, infection, I guess. That's kind of disturbing. Oh, those are very nice monkeys. Uh, some book. What's that? Gun survivalist. Oh, that's... It's not paranoid. Seems appropriate. Really hmm. Is that a photo album?
Oh, that's so cute. Oh, adorable. Such a nice scrapbook. I wish it could stay Who like this. Who has time for those stuff? Never made one. Let's see, let's get out of here. Uh, let's see. Nothing here. Nothing much. Okay. Got to do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. This room needs some cleaning. What's this? Curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation of the 18th into the Dolby toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They concluded the death were caused by a leak of natural gas that built up in the mud rock under the area. Jack Baker, 57, and his family, who were exposed to the gas, perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to be nearby, but their current whereabouts are unknown. The entire area was closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is habitable again. Oh, Jesus. Everyone's forgotten about this already. Right, team. Let's check this out that's the bathroom nice bathroom they don't have a bath it's like a shower oh of course Mia's medication yeah 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 she's totally not crazy huh yeah. I wouldn't trust her if I was Ethan <laughs> to be honest Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Okay, Mia makes everything. Makes baby food. What's in here? Put a note on the fridge. Rose's food. Don't give her sugar or honey and no mushrooms. Okay. Um, seems reasonable. I can't get over how pretty this game is. I mean, we're just in the house, but, but I don't know. It's really nice design. Looks awesome. It looks so real. Is she okay? Sleeping like a... well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de lagum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're going to keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's going to be... Seriously? think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- Oh. <sighs> oh. That's not good. Mia, just get down. looking at it. Just get down, you idiot. Oh my Mia. god. Holy shit. Oh, they mashed her into like- Oh. Holy crap, you mashed my wife. Jesus. That's <laughs> so many shots. Whoa, damn, not much left of her. She was just standing there oh like a God. dumbass. Well, she was being kind of an asshole. Don't know if it justifies Chris? shooting the, the fuck hell? out of her, but sorry, fine. Yeah, like, sorry, no! Ethan. Oh my God, no, dude, she's dead. What? <laughs> Seriously, Why? she's dead. You don't have to shoot her. <laughs> Holy shit. What the fuck is going on? See, I told you it was too good to be true. It was all so... So perfect. Too perfect, you know. Well, Nothing's move. perfect in life. Sorry about that, Ethan. All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. 
<laughs> Ethan, no, but we're still gonna kick the shit out of you. <laughs> That's classy. Get him. They say the package about the baby. I wonder what's going on. Hey, Doc. Hey, Doc. No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I, I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look. She's gonna, She's gonna be fine. Be fine. I, just I just know it. it. What, else what else matters? matters? We, we matter, matter, Ethan! Ethan. You, you matter! matter. You, just you just won't! Mia, what are you, what talking, are you talking about? about? Is, there Is there something, something you're, not you're not telling, telling me? me? Come on, talk, talk to me. To Damn, it. Damn it. I have to I take, have to take this. this. Damn, she's pissed. Oh my god. What's that about? Oh, that reminds me of Amnesia Rebirth with the um, baby pictures in in between uh, in between cutscenes. Nice, nice touch. Jesus. What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off the Rude. Fuck. What the hell happened to you? Well, Ethan, dearest, it looks like you've crashed and the guy with the secure channel doesn't look so well. <laughs> figures, just figures. We're just stuck in the middle of nowhere, and I'm sure there are no monsters in here. Completely safe. Let's just explore, I guess. Mission objectives eliminate target, recover body. That's Mia. Secure Rosemary Winters and Ethan Winters. That's us and Rose. Um, move the two winterses to site C for further investigation. At least two transport officers to accompany them. Well, I guess <laughs> I guess the two transport officers didn't really help because it does. It looks like something crashed the vehicle. I guess Rose was kidnapped and they left us here for some reason. I wonder why. Wonder what's her part in all this. What's going on? I don't know, I think we need to move on with this super creepy path. Apparently it's snowing. I wonder where they are. They're in Europe. I think Mia said something about some traditional soup. Um, chorba de legume? Let me just, um, let me search that up <laughs> quick. I just want to check where we are. Romania. It's a vegetable soup from Romania. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. We're talking vampires, right? In this Resident Evil, so... So, of course, we're in Romania. I'm really excited for that one, especially because of the vampires. I'm a huge fan of anything vampire really as long as they don't sparkle movies games books whatever huge fan of interview with the vampire and all the vampire chronicles i'm a huge bookworm i i just hear things moving i mean i hear things moving there's something there 
Something is totally gonna jump me. I, I feel a jump scare just approaching. It's inevitable, really. Come on, something is moving there. Come on, Ethan, move, move, move. Let's go, let's go. Where do we need to go anyway? I don't see anything. We should find something, I guess. Let's just keep going. We'll see. <sighs> hmm. Nice choice of decor. Some dead ravens are really lightening up the place. <sighs> and here's the jump scare. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Is it just me or the raven sounds like a broken fax machine? <sighs> Hello, I've seen somebody running. We've seen that, right? That when you just ran there. Oh man. Okay, come on, Ethan, come on, come on. Okay. I think we're on the right path. Is that a house? Oh hell no. Oh man. Oh. oh. We have to go here. Okay, let's search here. Anything in? Nothing. Why is everything also always rotten and disgusting here? In this game. People are gross. Nothing here. I don't see anything. Kind of dark. See, maybe in the closet. Who, who puts clothes like, like that on that road? You're supposed to hang them. These the animals. Okay, now seriously, something is moving here, making a hell of a noise. What the hell is that? Like it's breaking the goddamn house apart. Or whatever is left of it. It's like a fucking cabin in the woods. Not really a house. Drunk giant somewhere? What the hell is that? <laughs> There's something really heavy and I don't know what the hell is going on. The thing is we don't have a weapon. I don't think there's gonna be something really like you know life threatening so Ah that's convenient. Something just dropped the fucking closet. <sighs> Oh, that's fine. We can crawl. Uh, that's an awful lot of blood. What did all this? Looks like something just ran through the wall. Oh cool! I guess we're following the goddamn thing that just made a hole in the wall. Sounds like a fucking good plan to me. Is that daylight? It was dark when we got here. And now it's like... You know like that hour before the sun comes up? I've, I remember reading somewhere it's called um, the gray hour I think. And I remember it saying that this is the hour the most people are losing hope and dying. But I actually like that hour. I love the um, 
feeling of it. It's like there's something in it. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Where the hell am I? Ethan, I think we're not in Kansas anymore. Okay, guys, that's all for today, and I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, stay spooky, everybody. Bye, guys.